What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. So in this tutorial guys, I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for Vegas Pro 16 or at least how to adjust the render settings properly to your liking. So I've just finished editing this video which will be the last video on the channel. This video was how to change the resolution of videos when you render them out and I thought what better time than to also show render settings in general for Vegas Pro 16. So before I render any video Video. what I like to do is just make a marker starting at the end of the video here we can see I've already got one I'm just gonna move it there for now if you click just above the timeline until you get the arrow with the two little arrow heads pointing side to side if you move that so it starts at the end of the video as you can see the liners are lining up with the last clip on my video and then just drag it to the left all the way to the end or sorry should I say the beginning and then let go there when I go to actually render the video out, I'm just basically going to say to Vegas, render everything within that loop. And it just means I'm not going to accidentally render something off over here if I have left any clips over there or something. I'm only going to be rendering out what I've got here. Now many of you probably know that when you drag a clip onto the timeline, Vegas Pro will ask you if you want your project to match the media settings if you click yes when that happens you're probably going to be pretty well off when it comes to the template already so the videos i've got here were recorded at 1080p 60fps so i'm going to want to be rendering this video at 1080p 60fps you can render videos out with different resolutions and different frame rates compared to what the video originally was that's perfectly fine but i would highly recommend having the render settings match up with the actual video settings so to start you want to click on up here where it says project video properties you'll get this little window here and the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got your width and your height correct so i have a 1920 by 1080 p video so i'm just going to retype it in here even though it's already correct because uh i mean why not it's not going to harm anyone so there we go we've got 1920 by 1080 p there you want to make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is one it's square because if you change it to something like this and then click apply you can see you get widescreen video which is not what you want you want to keep that on square aspect ratio and then you can choose your frame rate over here like i said i recorded this in 60 fps so i'm going to keep it at 60 fps i did hit enter there so i've accidentally just closed it i'll open it back up there we go and then looking at the settings down here you want it to match up with these here so you have the full resolution render quality as good Motion blur type is Gaussian, deinterlace method is blend fields, and you want to change the resample method to disable resample. Once you've done that, you can save these settings just so it means in future projects you don't have to change it again. So I'm going to call this YouTube Tutorial Video Settings 1080p60. Just so I know it's 1080p 60fps as well there. And then I'm going to click that little save icon. And then when I hit the drop down, you can see that that is there in case I ever need it again. So I'm just going to click apply and then OK. Now when I go to render the video, I'm just going to click on file, render as. And I'm just going to turn my favourites off for now because I don't want to see that. Now I would highly recommend using the Magix MP4 format. This is just the format I always use and I've never had any problems with it so far and the videos always come out looking quite good. So once you're on Magix MP4, simply look for a format which closely matches yours. Because my format is already pretty standard doing 1080p 60fps, there is already the option for 1080p 60fps here and here. It does say 59.94. But it's basically the same thing, so you don't have anything to worry about if you have chosen 60 FPS. Same with 30 FPS. If you've chosen 30 FPS, you can use the 29.97 FPS. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, depending on your computer hardware, you may want to choose the NVIDIA NVN and NVA and NV that thing the NVIDIA NVENC there we go nailed it this option basically allows your computer to render the video out with the graphics card I tend to use this because I have quite a powerful graphics card compared to my CPU and it just gets my videos processed a lot quicker if you don't know whether your CPU is going to be faster or your graphics card is going to be faster then I would recommend just doing a couple tests, trying out both and seeing which comes out quicker. So using this NVIDIA one, I'm going to click on it and then click customize template down here at the bottom. 
this is where I can just make sure all the settings are exactly the same as before. It is a little bit different, but we can see we've still got 1080p here. Once again, make sure your pixel aspect ratio is 1. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done, you hit OK. If you haven't changed any of the settings, then you can still just use that original one. If you have changed the settings, it'll make a second template up here, which you can rename if you want to just by going into Customize Template and renaming it at the top here and then clicking Save. So now I've always got that one at the bottom. But I'm perfectly happy with this, so I'm going to click on that. And then you want to choose where you want to render out your video. So you could click Browse here and find that place you want to render it out. Or what I do is I click Project Location here because I just want to render this video out exactly where the Vegas file is located. And then I'm just going to rename this to Finished as that's what I rename my videos to once I've made them. And then click Render. Now depending on the length of your video and the quality of your video, it may take some time to render. That's all going to be down to your computer's hardware and the type of video you have made. But once it's rendered, that's it. Good to go. You can put it on YouTube. You can upload it to Vimeo. You can, I don't know, do what you want. It's your video. Uh, you have some fun with it. But that is going to be it for this video. Oh, I hit my desk. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. If there's any tutorials you would like to see, then just comment them down below and I'll definitely have a look into it. But that is it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.